Okay, in this video, we're going to continue the discussion from last video. As we remember from last time, uh, we quantize all 64 hexagrams into a quantitative measure. And as it turned out, the average auspiciousness value is 1.84. The distribution is 8.89. Some are very far away, very auspicious, and some are very... Uh, Mis major misfortune here on this on this end of the spectrum. So let's look at in this video we're going to look at who are located in this end and who are located at this end. So uh, for the hexagram that according to our quantitative uh, analysis, who are the top ten auspicious hexagram? So the number one is number hexagram forty two, benefiting the mass using collective resources. This is a hexagram about that you will be receiving resources and uh, authorities and trust and uh, support uh, from all directions so where you can use these resources because people trust you to use these resources to benefit even more people. So that's the, of course, when you have resources and trust and support, of course, things kind of go, go your way uh, from beginning to the end. And that's why the auspicious uh, score here is pretty high, 27.2, on the, on this relative scale. The next one is actually on hexagram 26. Uh, on 26, the uh, garnering moral strength to, to advance mankind. In this hexagram, you already have the resources. You have accumulated sufficient resource, uh, resources, um, assets, uh, support, friendship, uh, whatever have you that could uh, or trust from the people support from the people now you are embarking on the route to advance making advancement for the human uh, for the mankind uh, the, you are certain agenda this is typically for example let's say you are very well off and a very good uh, enterpriser and uh, you made a lot of money now you in order to make this a better world you decide you're going to be involved by politically supporting certain agenda uh, or candidates um, and how do you go about that and what are the experience that's when you're going through this kind of uh, uh, agenda driven uh, advancements for the mankind so that's what this hexagram is talking about so of course with all the support behind your back you are likely to be uh, uh, relatively smooth sailing and everything kind of go your way and uh, the next one on the, on the list is a surprising one. It's 59, dissipating to enable revelation. The score is a notch, uh, a big notch lower than the previous two, but it's still pretty, pretty high on our scale. It's a rank number three. This particular hexagram talks about that uh, in the state of you are being enlightened and uh, once after you are, you are enlightened, of course, many things come much easier than compared to before. For example, you finally understand the behind the scene mechanism of certain circumstances or situation that you, you were having a hard time dealing with before. But now you know who are pulling the strings. So now you know how everything works. And now you, you have this aha moment. Ah, right. So that's how it works. When you have such a revelation uh, uh, state, of your mind, then of course things uh, do go easier uh, on you, and uh, you feel like everything is going your way, and that's why it's uh, very high on the auspicious score, auspiciousness score. Okay, the next one is adhering to our leader number eight. Uh, this is a hexagram number eight, or the role model hexagram. So this hexagram talk about you first follow a role model, and you eventually become a role model. So of course, if you are following a righteous role model and you become a righteous role model, things do go your way. So that's very easy to understand why it's uh, scoring so high. So it's 16.1, closely behind. Okay, the next one is number 11, building peace and prosperity, uh, hexagram number 11. Of course, uh, from just from the name of it, it is describing a state of environment where uh, everybody and everything is geared toward building peace and prosperity, and then you are in the thick of things. So you come from the exterior, a peripheral, all the way to the center of this activity. Of course, that entire uh, experience should be uh, pretty auspicious. Okay, so that's number five. The next one is 
enlightenment, enlightening the mankind. This is, does talk about you receiving enlightenment and you are enlightening others uh, to make other being enlightened, like a sun shining on the on the ground in the morning. So if just by looking at the title, so you can imagine that's a auspicious hexagram. The next one with a score of 13.2 is handling affair and responsibilities. Actually, this is a uh, this is a experience hexagram where you are handling, uh, you are given the task to handle, and later on you get, you have responsibility and you drive the whole agenda. So the it's a path of such a responsibility growth, and when you are continue to be responsible, things do go your way. You win the trust, you win the support. So that's what this uh, number hexagram number ten is, is all about. The next one is building up on family foundations. So this one's score is is 13. It's, it started out uh, is a little you know flat uh, because there's a lot of hard work to build a family. So building a family is not that easy as uh, many of us have uh, experienced uh, in our life. But if you continue to build on your family, you continue to build this network of family members where everybody is very tied together. Of course, at the later stage, the whole family is going to be gelling and they are going to be super strong and that's what this hexagram is about it's very strong at the, at the last three uh, hex, uh, last three lines and the first couple lines are uh, kind of uh, flat or a little challenged the next auspicious uh, hexagram is the re, uh, retreating in face of adverse trend now that is uh, that is also very interesting the retreating action when the whole situation is against you, but you choose to retreat. Of course, that's that's a decision actually that's hard to make. But if you do make that uh, that decision and the whole situation is uh, in an adverse chain, of course you will encounter a pretty smooth selling. Uh, people don't mind you dropping out. So that is a that is a also very. Uh, it's a hexagram with a lot of auspiciousness, but it has a lot of hidden wisdom in there. You can imagine uh, why retreating is actually you know good for you. You know that if you can realize at that kind of a level, then things do work out very well for you. So that's an interesting uh, uh, hexagram with a re relatively high score. Okay, the last one is evaluating for the right condition to finish the last mile. The score of ten point two. 64 the last hexagram is very interesting because 63 is you already finished last mile but 64 is you're almost there you are ready to finish the last mile so you are very close to the goal there's a lot of satisfaction to uh, to gain when you do finish that last mile so that whole experience is actually more auspicious than the experience of you already accomplished the goal you accomplish when you accomplish the goal you have a lot to lose frankly but at this last mile, you have a lot of gain, and you just put out relatively smaller effort, a reasonable amount of effort, but you cash in all your credits type of uh, situation. Okay, so that's the top 10 auspicious hexagram. In the next video, we're going to talk about what are some of the most challenged or uh, toughest hexagram uh, where, uh, we, uh, from our analysis earlier.